Today I have the Ultimate Direction Exodus vest. Is this the most innovative running vest we've seen in the last decade? Let's talk about it. My name is Justin. On this channel, I love to share the adventures I take as well as the gear I'm using while I'm on them. Today is really special. I have something called the Ultimate Direction Exodus Vest, which is have in my hand right here. So I've been running with Ultimate Direction for about 10 years, and I have to say that this vest is probably one of the most innovative vests that I've seen come out of Ultimate Direction. Most of the vests that I've used while running for Ultimate Direction look a lot like this, no matter how much capacity they have. But the most distinguishing feature are these wide, thin shoulder straps that have all these pockets in them. The most signature of all of them are these big pockets to put a uh, water bottle or a water flask in, as well as the smaller pockets for things like nutrition. And this is really it. This is the basic blueprint that's been copied by so many different companies over the years. So what's really interesting about the Exodus is you'll see that it's gone away with even using separate shoulder straps and has gone with an actual vest design, as you can see here. It's pretty incredible. And this should give you a ton of support for any load that you're carrying, as well as even more storage space in the front that's easily accessible. And this wraparound design should reduce bounce and uh, any abrasion you might have from uh, wearing the vest itself. I have here a size large. As you can see, I'm a very large man. What's kind of cool about this is it comes in four different sizes to fit a wide variety of body sizes and types, as well as a men and women's gender version. I have here one of two colorways for the dudes. I think it looks pretty good. Let's talk about some of the materials you'll find on the vest. So I'm going to turn the vest inside out and we're going to look at the material that's really up close against your skin. And you'll see that it's this interesting 3D mesh material. It's really spongy as well. And that should really help with that idea of abrasion and reducing the amount of rubbing of the vest that you might feel. This is very soft material. And I think this material is going to be soft no matter if it's wet or dry if it's hot or cold. I can't really emphasize enough just how spongy and 3D this material is. It's very, very soft. And this material is going to do a great job of transferring all that perspiration that you're producing from your body through the vest and into the air. So I've got a flashlight here and we can use it to illustrate just how breathable that material is. If I hold up the vest to the camera and then shine the light through, should see just how much air and water can go through that knitting. So if you want to contrast that with some of the other vests that I've worn, like this one, you'll see that the material is sort of this very thin mesh, but it has a bit of abrasion to it. And that's in stark contrast with the material that's used in the Exodus. So given that there aren't any sternum straps on the Exodus, the question is, how do you put it on? If you look at the right side, there is a zipper. And all you'll have to do is unzip the zipper and you get your opening. So once open, you're going to put your left arm through and then your head. Just like that and zip it back up. Just like that. And now the Exodus vest is on. Now you can make some adjustments to it. On the left hand side, there's a pull tab. If you need it tighter, just pull that pull tab and you're good to go. Time to go racing. Now that I have it on, I can give you a tour of the front here and show you some of the pockets you'll find on the vest itself. So on the left and right side of the vest, you will find pockets that you usually put hydration in. And to illustrate, I have an old kicker bottle. I know that you're jealous of me. I use bottles a lot just because I drink so much, but you can use just a regular water flask as well. And we're gonna just put it in the pocket. And just like any other vest, it just slides in. And for the Exodus, I find that uh, you slide it in and then you, there is a lower pocket and just kind of take that with your finger and slide it all the way in. And if you have a water flask like this one, same idea, just slip it right in. Easy enough, both the water bottle and a water flask are compatible with the Exodus. And below those hydration pockets, you'll find two other pockets. 
made with a four-way stretch material. You can put in other accessories like gels or other nutrition. And because we don't have sternum straps, we actually have more storage space where those usually occupy. And if you look, there's another four-way stretch pocket that goes actually pretty deep. As you can see, I can put my whole hand in it. And behind that is another zipper pocket. You can put items in you want to be more secured, like my phone. So I think this is a really cool setup. I tend to drink a ton of water on my runs. And if I can bring two bottles and have them up front without having to get them in the back, that's a super big win for me. And I still have access to my phone. It's in a secured zipper pocket right here. As well as those six pockets we've just talked about, there is another zipper pocket on the left side of the vest right here. And I kind of like using that to put in my uh, earbud case or something like that. Awesome. Now I know I won't lose that. And there's yet another zipper pocket on the left shoulder right here. And this pocket up here is big enough for you to put in your trash from your nutrition or if you have some salt tablets that you bring along on your trip. That's what it's perfect for. That pocket probably isn't big enough to put a satellite communicator in, but there's another pocket on the right shoulder that has an open top and just that stretchy material where you can put the satellite communicator like this inReach in. And that's not going anywhere. And right next to the pocket is a whistle. And it works. So as you can see, there is a ton of storage space on the front of this pack. Everything you need bearing some bad weather is gonna be available to you at all times on the front of the pack. If you are someone who's poles, there are bungees located on the sides of the vest for you to store some broken down poles. And if you don't like those bungees flapping around, they are easily removable. All right, let's talk about the backside. To remove the vest, it's just the directions to put it on and reverse. So let's find that zipper on the side here. We're just gonna unzip it, take the vest overhead, watch the mustache, the vest is off. Okay, let's talk about the pockets you find on the back. And there are essentially two main compartments you'll find on the back. The first one is on the bottom. It's sort of like a kangaroo pocket. And as you can see, I can put my hand all the way through, like so. And the idea is that it, when you have the pack on, you can reach around and grab like a jacket or something, take it out and put it on over your vest. You don't need to take off the vest to grab the contents of that back pocket. Now I have to admit, I myself do not have the best mobility in my shoulders, but even I can use that kangaroo pocket in the back to grab stuff. And if I can do it, I bet you can too. The other pocket you'll find on the back is the large vein compartment. And this is where you can store, say, a lot more clothes when you go in the mountains and you need like another layer or, or you want to bring some safety equipment like an uh, emergency bivy. This is going to swallow up a ton of gear for you. And embedded within that main pocket is another sleeve that you can put a uh, water reservoir in. And the capacity is supposed to be 1.5 liters. I don't have a 1.5 liter bladder myself. I have a two liter and that did not fit. So 1.5 liter is the max. And the sleeve goes all the way to the bottom of the vest. On top, you'll find a simple little strap. You put over a loop and that will keep all the items inside that compartment from falling out. So in total, I believe the Exodus is supposed to have seven liters of storage capacity. And I think that's pretty realistic. So I've been using the Exodus for a couple weeks now on my runs. I'm gonna to have to be honest with you, it takes a little getting used to because this design is such a departure from what I'm used to that even wearing the vest feels different than any other vest I've worn before. I'm still getting used to like even where I wanna put items in those front pockets. There's nothing that says I have to put water in those pockets on the left and right side. You know, I could put clothing in some of these pockets. I've been putting some of my camera gear in these pockets instead of in the back. So. I've been running and I'm like, oh, that's a really awesome view. I want to take footage of that view. Boom, just take out the camera and there it is. So if you yourself grab this or try it out at a store, try to start reorientating yourself on just how you would use a vest and start thinking a little creatively. Like how would you use a vest differently if you had more storage up front? As far as bounce goes and especially storing water up front, I didn't find any issues with a bounce or a chafing. Yeah, this vest fits well. I do like how this vest gives you just a little bit of a hug the entire run. So what would you use this vest for? Because it has so much storage capacity, this is probably gonna be a long distance or all day 
a race day vest where the aid stations are far apart. This is the vest you want to wear when you want to be fairly self-sufficient out there. This is the vest you want to wear when you want a lot of storage capacity, the ability to bring a lot of nutrition, and the ability to bring even more clothes than what you're wearing, just in case, say, the weather turns. This is probably not the vest you want to use for an hour or less run. It's literally just too much vest. So if you demo this at the store, just remember that you're going to have to get used to how this vest works, how you put it on and off. It's going to be a lot different than practically any other vest, any other backpack that you've worn since grade school. And that learning curve isn't steep or anything, but it's there. All right, let's load up the Exodus and see what we can fit. All right, here I am. Let's go through it. So I've got a soft flask with a water filter on it. Got my hard water bottle for more water storage. Let's check out this pocket. I've got my, yeah, my mustache wax, it's super important. And also, of course, my earbuds for tunes on the road. Got some nutrition, those open stretch pockets. Got my GoPro for some epic shots in that center pocket. And I've got my selfie stick to put on the GoPro. Vitally important. Zipper pocket, my phone of course. What else? Ah, uh, headlamp for when I get late because I'm lost. What else? Ah, uh, my asthma inhaler because I super overdid it. More nutrition of course. All right, and let's not forget those top pockets. I've got, of course, that satellite communicator. Boom. So I can tell everyone I'm gonna be late because I got lost. I overdid it, <laughs> I'm moving slow. And of course in this pocket, I've got some, some salt tablets and some ibuprofen. All right, that's the front. That's just what I could fit in the front. Now let's see what I can fit in the back. All right, here's the back. We're gonna check out that kangaroo pocket. Wind jacket, brought my little hat for when I get cold. Main pocket, brought a puffy. Brought that emergency space blanket. Brought some sunscreen because I'm from a land of darkness and fog. What else? Raincoat and some gloves. So that was a ton of gear we could fit into the Exodus. All right, that was the tour to Exodus. Maybe in a future video, I'll go over the 10 essentials and how you can fit them all into a running vest. And maybe that's a hint from me to you that you should subscribe to my channel so you don't miss that video and all the future ones that I put out. That is the Exodus vest from Ultimate Direction. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try to field them when I can. As it seems to be the pattern to me, I'm getting ready for getting other trips. I better get packed for that. And until I see you again, long may you rage.